Welcome to episode 10 of Quantity Surveying Program. As you know, we are working on a villa project by covering all aspects of quantity surveying from start to end. In the previous episodes, we learned history of quantity surveying, foundation, column and beam, etc. And today we'll learn concrete staircase and lintel for our villa project. How to measure the quantities by following the plans of software and how to fill the quantities in a BOQ. We learn in detail. So without any delay, let's get started. So today we'll focus on concrete staircase and lintel. Now I hope you don't want me to start explaining what is staircase and how it look alike but let's get the brief idea about lintel. Now lintel and beam both are the horizontal framing member of a structure. Both have different function and vary in technical aspect. Usually the lintel you will find out above the door, window and other opening of the wall. And the purpose of the lintel is to carry the weight, the load above the opening of the wall. There are different type of lintel like wooden, concrete, steel, stone, etc. And in our villa project, the lintel type are concrete. We'll learn in detail how to measure the quantity for the lintel. So to learn in detail, let's focus on the screen now. Okay. Now on the screen you can see two things. On the left side you can see PlanSwift is open where I have all my drawings and you know from the beginning I'm working on a PlanSwift software. And on the right side you can see a BOQ sheet. It's a normal and regular Excel sheet. There is nothing special about it. I just have my own BOQ. So if you have any you can open that. Okay. In the previous episode I used the same Excel sheet for the earthwork, excavation, filling, foundation, even concrete. This is the same Excel sheet I have used for beam, column and today we're going to talk about staircase and lintel. Okay. So moving forward for the lintel. To get the quantity for the lintel we need few things. First thing which we need is length, second width, third height, fourth number of lintels. If we have these four things we can easily enter the total quantity. In a cubic meter basically these four things we need now what is length width height we'll talk about it if you have a section if you have a detail of linter that would be great you can get all of these information from that detail from that section and easily you will have the total quantity but let's assume if you don't have the details about linter then what so I will consider that scenario if you don't have detail still how you can get the quantity so let's consider that in that case when you don't have any information you need to depend on door schedule second what are the four things we need length of the lintel so the length is the opening the opening of door window these length we need okay so when it comes to the length this is the length 150 but we cannot consider the lintel length as 150 no because lintel is more than the opening it's above carrying the weight to give the support so it, it's usually more now how much is more it depends but let's consider one 0.15 on the right side 0.15 on the left side okay so if both sides 0.15 then total 0.3 we need extra than the total exact opening let's make it a thumb rule and it's easy for us 0.3 extra for every opening so here the lintel size will be 1.8 and right now I'm talking about in meters so lintel here 1.8 if we consider 0.3 extra then what will be the lintel size here 1.3 same let's get one more example if this is the door opening what will be the lintel size it will be 1.1 so now we know the lintel length second is we need lintel width okay so width of the lintel is depending on the block size so block size, let me open the drawing. You can open the drawing. You can see here, okay, it's here. This is 0 0.20. This is the width of the lintel. If you can see here, ground floor door one. Ground floor door one. So width of this lintel will be 0 0.2. So similarly, we have to depend, okay, you can see here, this is the door two. And similarly, door three. 
So this is how we can see wherever the door is, it will be easy for us to get the width. That's the second thing, length and width. Third is height. The height is depending on the lintel, okay? In different scenario here, the height we consider here 0.1, okay? So we have the length, width, height, and fourth thing we need, how many lintels. If we have this all, we can get it. Now you will see how I'm gonna get this information from plan shift, okay? So I will create a new item. Now I can segregate my lintel in two different items. One, lintel 200 and the extra, which we agree did 0.15 on the right and left side, total will be 0.3 offset. So offset, height, it depending on the lintel. I consider here 0.15, if you know the lintel, height is different you can choose as well okay height and the last is width this width is the block size so these information we have to enter then press ok and now we simply need to highlight now wherever we find out simply need to highlight okay i find out this is the lintel i simply need to highlight the length of the door so after will automatically consider the extra just highlight later i'll explain you there are two quantities you can see here it's two quantity so i have to highlight twice so software will add the quantity it will multiply by three now these are the bath doors i know the the width size for this is 0 0.1 once you finish all right click and stop on this floor, on this drawing, total lintel, whatever you have highlighted is 0.5 cubic meter. Okay, fine. So lintel 200 as per the width size 200, it's done. Now we have another different size, which is 100 block. Now I'll create a new item and give a name lintel size 100. By the way, if you're new to plan shift and you don't know how I have created this template, so just watch my previous episode. Okay, it will be easy for you to understand. Planset is very powerful, you can create any formula. So I have created a formula here, I can add extra lintel, offset, the height of the lintel, width. So here the width I only need to change. Rest is very simple. Once I'm done, press OK, I simply need to highlight. So where is 100? Here. I simply need to highlight. There are three lintels, three numbers of doors are there. So I have to highlight three times, then there is one more lintel. I need to highlight once I'm done right click and stop and check the estimating tab fine here we can see the lintel is 0.46 and 0.046 these are the total quantity and even if you want to see each section separately software will show that as well and you can see here total 16 lintels are for 200 and 4 lintels are only for 100 so these are the total quantity we just need to type here the sum of both it's very easy in plan shift so what i have to do 0 0.46 once i added this i can see here the total lintel in my project is 0 0.51 okay this is my quantity and later anytime you realize the lintel height is not 0 0.10 it's maybe more so you just need to change here the height maybe it's 0.20 you see here it's updated we can change anytime you can see here so according to the lintel so total lintel is 1.02 cubic meter so that's how we need to highlight and total quantities are with us okay i hope it give you enough understanding and by the way if you are not good with plan shift it's already very simple but let's say you are not good enough and you are not comfortable so second way is you can prepare the formula in excel sheet as well it's a very basic excel sheet i have created i will keep this excel sheet in the description you can download from there okay so if you want you can use this excel sheet but only the problem here is it will take a lot of time to create such excel sheet you have to type the name of the door then the length separately then the width i'm comfortable with plans because it's only a highlighting few numbers and i have the quantity within few seconds this is how we get the quantity for the lintel. I hope you understand now what are the lintel, how to get the quantities for the lintel, how to use the plan shift or manually.
now we will talk about staircase quantities and on the screen right now you can see I have already measured but no worries I'll give you the example from scratch so it will be easy for you to understand to get the quantity we need few things we need staircase drawing and the section both will help you to get all the information so I have here the drawing and it refer me to the section so I open the section here okay to get the total quantity of slab in cubic meter we need three things or actually I have divided into three first we need total quantity of steps second we need the slab quantity you can see here the second one slab quantity and third will be the landing I have divided into three you can if you have a better way you can use that so we need three things steps landing and slab now we will start by the staircase steps and to get the quantity of steps we need few things we need riser tread and width riser and tread information is already here for the width we need to depend on the drawing so i have measured from here this is the total width of the staircase it's 1.1 so we have the width here i get it from here even you can depend on the drawing you can check the plan maybe from there so once we have this information now we can create a new item and get the volume of steps okay so let's create a new item you already know i have uh, plans of templates for the volume and this all if you don't know how to create these templates just watch my previous videos i have given the example for volume it will help you to that let's create a new item Press OK. Now you simply need to click. Right now, staircase step is zero. We need to click wherever we see it. We have total 22 steps. Even the detail is already mentioned. Just the volume was not there, and due to that, I have to click by myself. And if we see here, total 22 steps. The quantity is 1.2 cubic meter for the staircase steps volume. So we have the volume of staircase steps. Okay. Second we need staircase landing. This is the one and I have measured already from the section the depth of the landing is 0.2. Okay. So let's go back to the plan. From here we can measure the total landing. Let's create a new item. Give a name staircase landing depth because we have measured from there. If you find the right information you can update anytime. Press OK and simply you need to highlight wherever you say it. So it's here. Once you highlight, right click and stop. And if you want to know the total, so right click show legend. Software will show you on this floor you have measured only staircase landing and this is the total cubic meter. Okay, so only in the landing we have measured. So second thing is also done. The third one is staircase slab. The staircase slab, I will make it easy for you to understand, it's also divided into three parts. We can call it foundation slab, we can call it a waste slab and the landing, okay? So we have already done the landing before, so we don't need to measure this part. The rest two things we need are foundation and waste, two things we have to measure. And here I have made the arrow so it will be easy for you to understand. This is the ground floor. So from here the stair starts, first step, second, third, that's how it starts, then the landing. And this is the same landing then from here it goes to the first floor okay so these arrow will help you to understand as well fine now I simply need to create a new item and start highlighting as I mentioned already we need to ignore the landing because we have already measured we just need to measure the waste slab okay so let's create a new item and now highlight Once you measure, software will show you on this floor, you have measured the staircase waste slab, it's 11.2. So we have measured three things here, staircase waste slab, landing and steps earlier. We'll just sum and add this quantity, but before I want you to notice few things. First, my section and detail of stair is not as per scale and you can notice here the steps are also not as per the section not 22 but try to understand the concept I know it's not as per scale so this value which we have it's 100% accurate I got that point 
but try to understand the concept here i'm not gonna construct the state i'm not a contractor i'm trying to help you to understand the concept okay so if you are the one who's dealing with the project i'm sure you have more detail and even some details are missing you can ask the engineer main contractor to provide you more information to get the maximum quantity okay so what we're gonna do here now only type the value whatever we have made till now we got the value for the staircase landing 0 0.6 plus waste slab 11.2 plus so total we have here 13 cubic meter so that was all about concrete lintel and staircase for our villa project and we have completed already all the concrete quantity for our boq in the coming episode we'll talk about foam work i will suggest you to practice whatever we have learned till now it will help you to understand the coming episode and if you have any question or doubt you know where to contact me on the linkedin and if you really like the video and you learn something don't forget to subscribe and share your feedback in the comment so till then keep learning and stay connected